You okay, Tina? Just a dream, Ma. Some dream, judging from that. Tina, hey, honey, you gotta cut your fingernails, you gotta stop that kind of dreaming. One or the other. Woo! What's up, guys? It's DJ Mighty Iris, and welcome to the Dream Warrior Podcast. So, like I said, I've been having a lot of dreams this week, and I have something to admit. Okay, so there are dreams that I have that I want to share with you. I want to share any and every dream, but some of them are, they're just so, hmm, what's the word? Inappropriate (laughs) to talk about. Some of these are raunchy dreams. Oh, I want to share them at the same time. Like, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to gross anyone out. You know, there's there's like a boundary. So I don't know how much I can share. But the ones I want to share the most are like the most sexual. I don't know. Oh, so, yes, I hold back sometimes and I hate that I do that. But I want to start slowly trying to share more. I'll clean up my language a bit. I'll use different words. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so before I start on this stream, this is one of the less raunchier ones. Not raunchy at all, actually. Before I get into it, there are maybe three people that I have reoccurring dreams about. One is an ex, and one is someone that I have been intimate with in the past. And then there's one that I've never been intimate with. It's a friend of mine that I'm not extremely close to in the waking life, but in the dream world, I'm extremely close with this person. So in the waking life, I'm almost drawn to that person. It's insane. So I don't want to throw these people under the bus. I just don't want to throw their names out there. So I'm going to use code words, okay? So this dream I'm going to talk about is the friend. I'm going to call him the talent. So like I said, it's someone that I know, but I couldn't tell you his favorite ice cream flavor. I couldn't tell you his favorite song. You know what I'm saying? I can count the number of times we've hung out alone on one hand. This is what I'm telling you. But in the dream world, you guys, I have such a close relationship with this guy. I feel comfortable. I feel like we're best friends almost like in the dream world he's like a ride or die he's like a partner in crime almost kind of feel is what I get when I dream of this person and I've had reoccurring dreams about this person pretty much since I met him god how long have we known each other now um over 10 years I have to do the math later but anyway so in the past I've had sexual dreams about this person I've had dreams where I've hung out in bed with this person all day we've we've cuddled we've snuggled we've We've talked. We've just we've been real close. There's comfort there. There's trust, major trust in the dreams. And again, in our waking lives, we don't even hang out. You know, we're almost like pen pals. Maybe I don't even know. I care so much about this person, though, because a lot of it has to do with the dreams. I don't know. It's I want to talk to scientists about this because it's bizarre. It's uh, bizarre is the word I'm going to use a lot. So in this particular dream, we're at an outdoor nighttime gathering and it feels like it's a ceremony in my honor like maybe it's my birthday or something I don't know and the talent he's sitting next to me we're sitting on you know when you're at a graduation how there's chairs lined up on the grass we're sitting on chairs next to each other like that lined up there's people walking around but there's no one else sitting around us he takes out his phone and he's like I want you to hear audio of this part of a song I just worked on it right so he plays me the audio and I'm like oh that's so cool you know and then someone comes up to me we both stand up um, they're telling me congratulations or something I'm like oh thank you You know, they walk off. Then me and the talent walk off into the night. We go to this other area where there's no one around. And we're just, we're real close to each other. We're standing together. We're talking about relationships. It's borderline flirty. You know, I'm touching his arm. Sometimes he'll grab my waist. Not grab it, but, you know, just lightly place his hand on my waist. I think there's a part where we're like almost like forehead to forehead. I'm short, but, you know, in the dream world. We're kind of like head to head. And he kisses me on my forehead and it's a very comforting I feel safe it made me happy in these kind of dreams you guys I don't want to wake up from them sometimes I it makes me feel so at peace that like I wake up and I'm like oh <laughs> you know so that was the highlight of the dream he kisses me on my forehead and then I guess I wake up So this is someone that I totally admire in the waking life and in the dream world. There's respect. I look up to this person. You know, I I admire this person. 
Let's go into some of the meanings. And a lot of this stuff, you guys, can't be interpreted. Like, I've looked, I've searched, can't find meanings for these certain specific situations. So I'm going to do the best I can, all right? So just bear with me. So I tried searching, what does it mean to dream of someone that you don't really hang out with in real life, but in the dream world, you're super close with them? What does that mean? And it was hard to find a meaning for that. So here's what I did find. What does it mean to dream of someone we barely know? That's the closest thing I could find. So just bear with me. It could mean that there's something about this person that we do want to get to know. Our dreams take us places that our subconscious is able to explore. It could mean that in real life, there is not an opportunity to get to know them. But in your dreams, this is where the two of you can meet and you can mingle and explore. Your dream may be telling you that you're attracted to them in some way, romantically or non-romantically. Your dream could be showing you the qualities of this person that you like. And because of this, you want to explore what else you like about them. It means they are thinking of you and you are receiving their vibration that they are sending out. If you are receiving their vibration through dream form, then they are also receiving yours because psychic connections are a two-way street. It actually reveals that you have an unspoken, no physical contact, but positively and definitely have a psychic relationship with whom it is you're receiving dreams about. Dreaming about someone frequently could mean that they're emotionally connected to you. I think that's kind of common sense. Okay, to be kissed on the forehead or the third eye. (laughs) That sounds so dirty to me. Oh, A forehead kiss on the third eye brings a special kind of connection between two people. It is often considered a sign of intimacy and affection. It's also a sign of protection, a symbol of respect, a sign of appreciation, and a message of comfort. Okay, here's another meaning of a forehead kiss. You have something that you want to say. You are on a path of self-discovery. You are seeking either pleasure or escape. Ooh la la. Oh. Okay, so here's another interpretation of being intimate or feeling intimate with a friend. Again, I couldn't find specific meanings, so just bear with me on this. To dream of sleeping with a friend or having a relationship when you don't have this type of relationship in waking life can be a quite shocking dream. Yeah, I know. Therefore, to dream that you are sleeping with a friend can suggest that this is a repressed desire for either of you. It can also indicate that you might feel you want to connect with them more. This dream does represent that you have deep feelings for your friend. If there is intimacy during the dream, then this indicates that you are trying to communicate with your friend on some level. Okay. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I In the waking life, I would love to hang out with this person more. But it's also kind of cool if I were to see this person right now in front of me, I'd be like, we're not that close, but I know you. <laughs> I know you in the dream world, buddy, you know? <laughs> okay, so in the dream, he played a song for me. So to dream of hearing a song. It wasn't really a song, though. It was audio of him talking. So here's the closest one I could find. When you dream of hearing pleasant music, this shows the possibility of someone coming back to you. Memories of happy moments will give you feelings that will please you very much. All right, so that's all I got for my dream about the talent. You know, I just thought of one more person that I have reoccurring dreams of. Has anyone else ever experienced this? Comment below if you have. It's bizarre. And every time I wake up from a dream that I have about these people, I want to just reach out and text them. There are two people of the four I can actually contact. The other two have no contact with these people. I haven't contacted them in years. It feels as if these kind of dreams with the reoccurring people, it almost feels like the life I'm living right now isn't it. So there's waking life iris and there's parallel universe iris going this way, but it's a dream world iris. Or is it not? Is it a Twilight Zone episode and I'm living these different separate lives? Dream experts, scientists, let's talk. Can we be living more than one life and not realize it? Which actually, there is a show on Roku. I forgot what it's called. I think it starts with an S. It's about this girl and she's married to a guy in the relationship. There's no lust anymore. There's no excitement, nothing. It's very routine, right? So something happens. She hooks up with another guy. And right when she orgasms, bam, she's in another life where she's married to this guy that she cheated with. This is the premise of the show. Every time she has an orgasm with someone else, she goes to another life that she's living, an alternate universe. How weird that I thought of that just now. But these dreams are so powerful to me. I I honestly feel like I'm living different lives. There's more out there, you know? I believe in alternate universes, parallel universes, whatever they're called. It's so cool. It's like, which one am I really in, you know? I haven't taken acid, (laughs) if that's what you're thinking. Am I crazy? Are you crazy? Am I Tyler Durden? Is anyone Tyler Durden? 
All right. Well, again, I hate that I can't think of the words to express what my mind is feeling. I just wish I could bring you guys in and you could just know, you know? Just poop, touch me on the forehead, and you will feel everything I'm feeling. <laughs> Perhaps I need to read more or something. But yeah, I'm not always able to fully communicate what I'm trying to say. It's, it's very frustrating. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Dream Warrior Podcast. <laughs> 